Time has nothing to do with what our clients value. We kind of need to get time out of the equation. And the more we keep timesheets and attached to, to recording time, then whether we like it or not, even if we say we're not using it for billing purposes, we are still attached to some kind of notion that time matters when it doesn't. Because we're not a commodity. We're not marking up the time that we charge because five minutes of your time spending doing payroll is different from five minutes of time that you spend on a phone call with a client talking about tax advice. There's, there's a different value attached to each kind of block of time and therefore look at the outcomes. Um, because and, and most of the time, <laughs> excuse the pun, it's, 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 it's based on pricing. So your team has nothing to do with pricing and that's a responsibility on you to get your pricing right. Because when you get your pricing right at the top, then everything else just, just falls into place. And your team can focus on outputs, what's important to a client, the outcomes, the results, the solutions, because you know your pricing is on point and your pricing represents the value that you offer. And the value is made up of scope, which is then further split down into complexity and preference. So every client is different, right? We are never gonna, uh, because we're not a commodity, we cannot say that the old model of, yeah, we own a 30% markup on, on our costs. That, that's an old model that is, is archaic. It, it, it doesn't kind of, it has no relevance to client output. So the way you need to look at it is that every client will generate a different return on investment for you. Some clients will generate you a massive profit because you're delivering massive value. Other clients will deliver low profit because you're delivering low value.